All right. Hi. Hi. Today we're here for Victoria to actually interview me. She does such a good job interviewing people. I thought I'd ask her to do this today for me. So we mean. can explain a little bit more about Ignite Purpose and the ministry and what it might be able to do for you. Yeah, for you. Um, great. John, I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thanks for having me here. Yes, anytime. Um, so John, I just want people that may not know what the, your story is to give me a quick synopsis. I mean, you were a very successful businessman and then now you're in like full-time ministry or mostly ministry. Mm -hmm. um, how did that happen? What happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll try to give the abbreviated version. Um, a lot of my, the reason I do ministry is because of some of the regret I had when my kids were, were little and I was early in my marriage. Um, I was at the same time focusing on my business and spent a lot of my time building the business instead of building my family in Christ. And um, I would have looked on the outside like I was doing the right thing, but on the inside I knew I was focused on the wrong thing and I was building the wrong kingdom. So that is kind of the background. And then um, in 2010, my business uh, had a financial collapse in 2011. Um, Molly, my first wife, passed away. And that catapulted me into a kind of a new understanding of my relationship with Jesus. It made it more real. And it thrust me in the front instead of being behind my wife um, that I had really stood behind spiritually for so many years. And um, I recognized my desire to really uh, press into my family. I really had no choice but to step up and lead my family better. And um, so that's kind of the evolution of where I am. And, and now here we are 12 years later and um, I've spent the last at least 12 years if not more leaning into this and doing more and more ministry with families. Right, right. That's, I love your passion for what you know, you've begun. So you started all of this, um, if I'm not mistaken, with your son, Chris. Um, yep, in 2004, when Chris went to college, um, I really felt strongly that I wanted to make my faith more um, transparent to him and let him know what I was going through as he stepped into adulthood and uh, that he could relate versus just um, hearing Bible verses and, and being taught a more legalistic way. I wanted him to experience what I was experiencing. So I started writing a daily devotional just to walk through my Christian walk with him. And uh, one thing led to another. And I was, next thing I know, I was sending it to 200 people. And and more and more people started to get a hold of it. And uh, it's just grown. And to this day, I have written over 3,000 devotionals. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're pretty, uh, you're pretty passionate about that and faithful to that. It's awesome. So you, you really have a father's heart for young people in general, young men, but also for marriages and families and the children. Right? Yes. Is that right? I mean, that's what. Yeah, in 2017, Chris, Chris has been a catalyst for me in ministry. Um, Chris came to me and asked me to actually teach him and his friends and and. Um, my other kids, um, the parenting course that I took in the 90s called Growing Kids God's Way. And that was another catalyst towards ministry for me because um, over the course of a couple of years pre-COVID, we had um, close to 50 couples come through the program. And I realized the hunger and the need for parenting and marriage ministry. Um, and again, that's really the combination of these things launched me into um, deciding to go into ministry. Mm -hmm. Sadly, <laughs> I, I made that decision uh, in February of 2020, one month before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So, um, but God knew what he was doing because it gave me the time to lean into the programs and write a lot of content and develop the programs that I have today right. um, to meet the need of young parents and uh, young couples. 
All right. So you've written um, a curriculum called Activate, is that correct? Yeah, so um, fast forward the years that I've been doing this, um, Percival Baptist also, I did some work for them. I took some of my programs, rewrote them for Percival Baptist, and we called them Life Studies. And uh, Pastor Corey, the senior pastor at PBC, had a vision to create a program called Activate, which really tied in well with my ministry and the uh, audience that I minister to, which is the audience that uh, attends PBC. Mm -hmm. So we developed a, a program called Activate, which really is uh, focused on people taking the next step past just salvation and past just okay in life mm -hmm. um, to really dig into a fullness in their walk with God, finding their purpose and walking it out and stepping into um, what could be a radical lifestyle living for Christ. Yeah. So you're you're getting ordained, are you not? Well, I'm getting licensed as a minister okay. um, by the end of this year through Percival Baptist. And uh, again, that what I really wanted to do is draw a line in the sand for me is, and make a step towards ministry full time. Um, because for the last 12 years, I've been doing both ministry and business. And um, a lot of what I do in business is also ministry. Um, but I just want for myself, I needed to draw a line in the sand and go ahead and get licensed as a minister and step into ministry full time so I can focus on families, marriages, um, and the audience that I feel like God's led me to. Yeah, you have such a father's heart. So um, I just, I'm always uh, inspired by you and your heart. I mean, nothing stops you from doing what you do. Um, so talk about, um, obviously you work one-on-one -on -one with some young men, is that correct? Yeah, I work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I prefer working with partnerships, teams, um, families, because a lot of times, even though if a, if a young single person comes to me, obviously I'm, I'm going to work with them. But um, what I find with a lot of people when I work one-on-one, -on -one, they... Um, they engage the information, but they don't always activate it. They don't always execute it because they don't have somebody with them working mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. So I love working with couples and partnerships um, because then they can work with one another to hold each yeah. other accountable and yeah. make adjustments that will really impact their lives, not just go through a process of right. coming and meeting with me. Yeah. So and I'm way more activative oriented than like a typical counselor. Right. Um, I really want to see people move the needle and lean into Christ. Right, right. So would you say that's kind of what separates you from a lot of coaches, counselors, and that kind of thing, is that you really... Yeah, I mean, the word activate really plays into Ignite Purpose, the whole, the combination of those two. It's like God is the ultimate purpose and God is the igniter, but uh, stepping into that in an activate mode and, and really focusing on taking the next steps towards Christ and in relationships and again it's it's not easy it's yeah. usually radical and uh, but I do get excited working with younger people because they're moldable and, and they're excited to grow yeah I mean I've witnessed several of the letters or texts or whatever that people have sent that have gone through the activate and um, it's very touching you know how much it changes like um, you got one recently how it made um, a father a better dad you know he was just so um, blown up by one of the classes that actually we taught um, and that was just recently but um, so what so I'm assuming that strives you uh, or makes you want to strive to go forward what's your vision what's your hope for 2024 well more families um, I want to touch you know, through these programs and through the relationships and through the ministry, um, the more people we can touch with this information, the more people will be better parents and better husbands and wives and ultimately affect not only their families, but the community that they live in and make their walk in Christ um, a lot more activated. Yeah, or evident. <laughs> yeah, and evident. Right I mean, instead of um, going through the motions of coming to church on Sunday and then going back to whatever normal is, right. um, really making an impact. And, and again, that's why my grandkids are so important, the kids that um, of these people that we work with. Really, that's my ultimate goal is to see them get filled up 
with the Holy Spirit in a way that they can go out into this world that's crazy right now and make an impact, not only for Christ, obviously, but to have that protection that they're walking out um, yeah. a biblical lifestyle in a non-biblical world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been really sweet for us as we have done ministry um, to be able to be around some of the children of these families um, and parents that we've worked with and you've certainly worked with um, and to see the children doing some of the things that we know we taught you know and help the parents with during class and to see the children really you know taking on that new these new concepts you know that these the parents are bringing and and they just love it and they just has really turned so many corners so it's it's been real exciting well i hope this helps you understand ignite purpose and our ministry together um, as we step into the new year we're super excited to be able to minister to a lot more couples and families and see the seed planted in these families grow for generations to come mm -hmm. and again your support can help that make that a reality and uh, we just appreciate you and anything that you can do to come alongside including please pray for us and pray for those families that we minister to yeah. so thank you and uh, god bless you god bless you